Welcome everyone to the 21st race on the NASCAR Cup Series schedule this weekend. We are in Pocono Mountains in Long Pond, Pennsylvania at the Pocono Raceway. All three series are in action this weekend. The NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series will run on Friday with the CRC Brake Lean 175. That's 175 miles, 75 laps. Saturday, the NASCAR Craftsman, the NASCAR Xfinity Series will run the Explorer, the Pocono Mountains 225. That's 225 miles, 90 laps. Now on Sunday, the NASCAR Cup Series will run the Great American Getaway 400. That's 400 miles, 160 laps. Now the Pocono Raceway opened in 1968, nicknamed the Tricky Triangle, formerly known as the Pocono International Raceway. It is a two and a half mile, three turn super speedway. Now the Pocono Raceway has hosted many events over the years from NASCAR racing to ARCA series to IndyCar series and even the AMA Superbike Championships. So here this is we this weekend's paint schemes for all three series. And when we come back, I will give you my favorite paint schemes. A little recap of the Chicago Street Race. And silly season continues with some NASCAR news and my picks for this weekend. So let's check them out. <laughs>
With our servers designed for AI, you can revolutionize the way you do business. All right, I hope y'all enjoyed those paint schemes. Which one was your favorite? Leave in the comments below who your favorites are. Now, here are mine. The NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. I like the number 45, Ross Chastain, Mardell Watermelon Association Chevy. And I like that number one, Chris Wright, America's Auto Auction Toyota. Now, for the NASCAR Xfinity Series, I like the number 28, Kyle Sieg, U.S. Hydrations Ford. And the number 21, Austin Hill, Global Industrial Chevy. Shouldn't this have been like the paint scheme last week for July 4th? I don't know. Now, on the number 07 Camelback Resort Chevy, uh, is that a T-Rex or is that a Raptor from Jurassic Park on that car? Let me know. Now, for the NASCAR Cub Series, the number one Ross Chastain Bush Light Peach Chevy. This was a pretty cool paint scheme to see in person. Uh, and Front Row Motorsports brought their A-game for paint schemes this week. The number 34, Michael McDowell, Gunk Ford, and the number 38, Todd Gillinan, C.H. Reed Ford. All right, so let's go a recap of last week's races in Chicago. Uh, on Saturday, it was a picture-perfect day in Chicago for some racing for the NASCAR Xfinity Series. SVG was on the pole. And it was the Larson versus Kyle Larson versus SVG show for, I don't know, the first 10, 20 laps. I'm not really sure. But back and forth, these guys went. One took the lead. The other took the lead. But uh, in the end, SVG wins the first and second stage. And uh, though on the third stage, after a bunch of pit stops, Jesse Love found himself in the lead but uh, with Ty Gibbs in second. But after a restart for the final restart of the race, SVG Managed to get by both drivers and wins at Chicago. And he continues his dominance on road courses here in the Xfinity Series. But it was a great race. Lots of talent in that race as well. Lots of NASCAR Cup Series guys. Now, the NASCAR Cup Series on Sunday was not a picture-perfect day. It was supposed to be, but the rain came out of nowhere. Kyle Larson was on the pole. Rain began right after pre-race ceremonies. The teams moved to rain tires and. uh or slicks, and then Ty Gibbs took the lead early, but then SVG passed Gibbs and took stage one. Now, after stage one, the rain came. They went back to rain tires, and the track conditions were horrible, horrible. The visibility was bad. Cars were spinning left and right, crashing into each other, and then Chase Briscoe gets loose and spins right in front of SVG. SVG tries to get in front of him pretty quick, but he loses control in the turn and hits the turn, and he is out of the race. Uh, shortly after that, NASCAR parked everybody, and they had a big rain delay, and we sat there and sat there and sat there. Now, after the rain delay, teams had to decide, would they stay on slicks or, or would they stay on rain tires or go to the slicks? Now, Ty Gibbs and Christopher Bell went to work battling each other first and second for most of the stage two. Two of the NASCAR Cup Series favorite drivers, Kyle Larson and Denny Hamlin, both had issues wrecking. Larson hit the wall really hard. Denny was spinning left and right like the last couple laps. Not a good day for Denny either. Now, uh, some teams stayed on rain tires, including the leaders. Now, both um, Christopher Bell and Ty Gibbs had to pit where Brad Hand and the RFK4 takes the lead and wins Stage 2. Uh, after Stage 2, NASCAR had 30 minutes to finish the race. So the, with the race starting late, they were, the daylight was coming and they had to finish by a certain time. So they had 30 minutes to finish a full Stage 3, which wasn't going to happen, so they tried to get as much. Now Alex Bowman, who was pretty strong in practice and qualifying, uh, took the lead over Brad Hand and uh overhand and but with a late caution bowman hangs on to win in chicago now after the race is over bubba wallace gives bowman a little shove at the end of the race and uh nascar looked into that this week and fined bubba wallace fifty thousand dollars for his actions and move on to next week here in pocono should be interesting to see what happens now bowman snaps an 80 game 80 race win winless streak Good for him. He's in the playoffs. And uh, now, I think, is that all All the teams, all the Chevy teams, all the Hendrick teams are now in the playoffs. So, good for them. Okay, so let's listen to NASCAR's silly season continues with Haley Deegan, 
last week being replaced by Joey Logano. Joey Logano had a pretty good finish uh, in the Xfinity race, and they made the announcement this week that Deegan and AM Racing have parted ways. So um, that is done. We'll see who uh, Josh Berry is in the car this week at Pocono. Now, Noah Gregson joins Front Row Motorsports and will replace Michael McDowell in that ride. So that's now three of the four cars, drivers, that were at Stuart Haas now moving on. Where does Ryan Priest go? I have no clue, but we'll see how that goes. Now, let me know where you think Harrison Burton, who got released from the 21 at the end of 2020, uh, 24 season here. Haley Deegan, does she go to the trucks? Does she go to ARCA? Does she, what does she do? Does she find another Xfinity ride? And where does Ryan Priest go? He's the only car le driver left with Stuart Haas. Where does Ryan Priest go? Let me know in the comments below. Now, here's my predictions for the race this weekend. The CRC Brake Lean 175 on Friday night at Pocono. Friday afternoon at Pocono. I'm going Corey Heim in that 11. He finished second last year to Rowdy. He finished second in Nashville to Eckes after he dominated the race. I'm going Corey Heim for the win here at Pocono. Now in the Explorer, the Explorer, the Pocono Mountains 225, Austin Hill won this race last year. It's really to pick, easy to pick Austin Hill again, but I'm going Chandler Smith. Yes, that paint scheme is very boring, but I'm going Chandler Smith. Last week, he blew an engine. Uh, he finished second in Nashville. Uh, he's third in points, two wins this year, seven top fives, five stage wins. Smith continues. Chandler Smith continues the win here at Pocono with the Toyota Dominance on Friday and then on Saturday. And there it is. Now, in the Great American Getaway 400 on Sunday for the NASCAR Cup Series, last year's winner, Denny Hamlin. And I'm going to go, this is a Denny Hamlin track. He loves this place. And last week, it was a road course. He's horrible at road courses. I already know this, but he should have won Nashville. Everybody knows he should have won Nashville. He's doing great. So I'm pit. And I also have the hat this week. Like, I'm allowed to wear the hat this week. Mavis tires, brakes. Let's go. It's on the paint scheme. Let's go. Denny Hamlin this week for the win. Denny completes the sweep here in Pocono. It's a Toyota Love Fest this weekend here at Pocono. So there are my picks. Who do you think is going to win? Let you me know in the comments below. So. You know the races, you've seen the paint schemes, and now all you got to know is when are we live streaming. So Friday afternoon, we'll be doing the Craftsman Truck Series race. Possibly have a rain delay on this. I'm not sure yet. The rain doesn't look good this weekend for Friday and Saturday, but we'll see how it goes. And then Saturday, we're doing NASCAR Cup qualifying and practice, and then the Xfinity race right after that for the Pocono Mountains 225. Explore the Pocono Mountains 225. We'll have that for you guys. And then on Sunday, we'll have the uh, Great American Getaway 400, the NASCAR Cup Series on Sunday. So make sure you guys tune in for those. Make sure you hit the like button on this stream. And if you're finding us new, make sure you subscribe to the channel for all NASCAR content right here on On The Go with CeeLo. So, so we'll hope to see you guys in the streams. We'll see you guys very soon and good luck to all the competitors this weekend but hey let's go denny here on sunday for a big win so thank you guys so much hit the like button hit the subscribe and we will see you at the tricky triangle let's go oh.